Hello and welcome to the very first hands-on session on Kubernetes. I'm Raghav and you can find all my work on my website automationstepbystep.com. In this session, we are going to go very basic and we will look at some Kubernetes commands to start with. In the last session, we have seen different options to use and install Kubernetes. And one of the options we saw was online Kubernetes labs. These are the online platforms where Kubernetes is already set up and configured and we can directly go and run the commands. Now this session is created so that you get some familiarity with Kubernetes commands. We will have other sessions where we will install Kubernetes from scratch on our systems or virtual machines. But for this session, it is going to be very quick and I'm going to go with the online Kubernetes labs and the first option is Kubernetes playground. So let us go there. I will go to Google and search for Kubernetes playground. And here we have this playground from Catacorda. I will go here. And here you will find this Kubernetes playground. And you can see here it says the difficulty level is beginner and it is estimated time is 10 minutes but it will be faster than that and here you can also see it says this is a kubernetes playground a safe place designed for experimenting exploring and learning kubernetes the playground has a pre-configured kubernetes cluster with two nodes one configured as master and the other one as the worker node so we will already have two nodes configured so let us start i will click on the start scenario button and here you can see we have got two terminals this is the master node and here we have the worker node and because kubernetes is already set up and configured we can directly launch the cluster using the launch.sh command also if you go here we have a option for full screen so if i click this it will be full screen so you can also do your um, testing here or run your commands here and then we have these settings where I can go to presentation mode which will increase the font so let me be here and then we have a lighter color scheme and debug options so let me go with the first command launch sh and you can directly run this command like this you can type the command here or you can just click on this command here and it will be executed so I will click here and you can see it is saying waiting for Kubernetes to start and now it is started so this will create two nodes Kubernetes cluster using Weavenet for networking. Do not worry about all these. This session is just for getting some familiarity. Now the next command is health check and this is the command. If I run this command, it says Kubernetes master is running at this particular location and kubedns is running here. Also it says that if you want and go further for debug purposes, you can use this command kubectl cluster info dump so let us try this I will type cube and if I press tab it is auto completing the command and I will say cluster info and I will say dump and hit enter and you can see it is now giving me all the information about this cluster so this will be useful for debugging purposes and that's all if I click continue here it says this is done and we have done the very first scenario let us go to the next scenario so if I click next scenario you can see a lot of other labs we have a lab here or a scenario here to launch a single node cluster then a multi node cluster using kubeadm and all these so let us go here launch a single node cluster and I will click on start scenario so this will create the lab and here you can see it is using minikube we have also learnt about minikube in the earlier session and we will see it in more details in the coming sessions so here minikube runs a single node kubernetes cluster inside a vm on your laptop for users looking to try out kubernetes or develop a with it day to day so let us start the scenario i will click on start scenario and let me go to the settings and go to presentation mode and here we have four steps step number one is start minikube and here it says minikube has been installed and configured in the environment already and we can use this command minikube version to check the version of minikube so i will just click here minikube version and it shows me the minikube version installed and now 
we can start the cluster by running minikube stat command and here is the command so I will click on minikube stat and here it is starting the cluster and it may take some time for the cluster to get started you will get a message here so you can wait until you get a message that the cluster has started and you can also see here once it is started you can see you now have a running cluster in your online terminal and it has minikube has started a virtual machine for you and kubernetes cluster is now running in that virtual machine here you can see the commands it is pulling the images and then launching kubernetes so this will start a virtual machine and kubernetes cluster will be running in that virtual machine let us wait for it to get started and you can now see it says done kubectl is now configured to use minikube so this is done I can now click on continue and go to step 2 and here we can get the cluster info we have already seen this command cluster info if I click this it will give me the information about the cluster and then to view the nodes in the cluster we have this command that is kubectl get nodes and I will click this let me also clear this I will say clear and now I will click this command get nodes and here you can see we have a single node which has a role master and the status is ready so this node is in ready status now and here it says if the node is marked as not ready then it is still starting the components and this command shows all the nodes that can be used to host our applications now we have only one node and we can see that its status is ready so it is it is ready to accept application for deployment let us go to the next step that is step number three now we will deploy the containers and here we should also have a container runtime and here I believe docker is already set up so if I run the command docker space hyphen v you can see the docker version here so docker is already available here so I can run the kubectl command to create or deploy the containers and this is the command kubectl create deployment and the deployment name and then the image source so I will just click here and you can see it says the deployment is created and now to check the status of the deployment I can check the pods by running the command kubectl get pods so I will click this kubectl get pods and you can see we have got this pod here and the status is running and you can see all this information here now here it says once the container is running it can be exposed via different networking options depending on the requirements and we can now expose our container so let us run this command kubectl expose deployment and it says this is exposed I will clear my screen So the command to clear screen, screen is just say clear and press enter. Now here is a command below that finds allocated port and executes a HTTP request. I will run this. Do not worry on all of these. This is just for getting some familiarity. I will have a session where we will set up Kubernetes from scratch on the system. So this is done. Let us continue to step number four and this is to enable the dashboard so we can enable the kubernetes dashboard and here is the command minikube add-ons enable dashboard i will run this command i will clear my screen and now run this command and this was enabled successfully and now we have to make the dashboard kubernetes dashboard available by deploying this yaml definition i will do this and this is also created and now we have to view the dashboard so this is the command I will run the command and with this we should be able to view the kubernetes dashboard on this URL so let us wait for this command to complete and then we should be able to view our dashboard so here it says kubernetes dashboard allows you to view your applications in a UI so this is what we are trying to do here So once this will be ready, let us go to this 
URL and let us see this is the Kubernetes dashboard and this should show us our nodes and all our pods so you can see we have one deployment running this is one pod running and all this information this is the first deployment this was the name we gave to our deployment you can see the pods here replica sets here do not worry on all this we will check all these in detail later as well and we have all these other options you can go to notes and it will show you the notes similarly deployments jobs pods everything you can find here so this will show you all your kubernetes dashboard so we have done this lab and similarly you can find so many other scenarios and labs to play with kubernetes and gets a really good hands-on so i hope this session was useful for you we will do more hands-on in the coming sessions and thank you so much for watching